bringing the show, bringing your trainer tip of the week, um, and we're going to talk about cramping uh, during bridging, which is super common, you may have experienced before, um, and it occurs for a few reasons. Uh, commonly that your hamstrings are too tight and your glutes are weak and having a hard time activating. It can also have to do with your quadriceps being tight and your psoas being tight. So we're going to start by trying to release and warm up some of those muscles. So I've got Michelle here on a roller. Okay, it's just going to roll back and forth, getting those hamstrings. She can also cross one leg over the other. Get a little bit deeper. Good, whatever she does to one side, she'll do the other. <laughs> She's feeling it on this side. Good, right. and then we'll go into uh, her glutes a little bit. So you, you bring up the roller a little bit more. Yeah. And you rotate a little bit to the side and you can open your leg and close it and keep your shoulders away from your ears. <laughs> and you can do this with one of the green nubby balls, uh, a yoga block, a medicine ball. Right. Now that we've got her released a little bit, we'll take this away. And we'll talk a bit about positioning, which also has a lot to do with, with why we cramp. So I see a lot of people, they have their legs, uh, their feet out like this. Well, if I were to have her roll up right now, all of that would go into your hamstrings. So we're not going to do that. So let's bring your feet in line with your sits bones. Good. And heels nice and close in. The other thing we commonly see is uh, the knees will start to wobble and the feet will externally rotate and um, your hamstrings will try to take it over uh, and stabilize when we want the glutes and the core to do that job. So to combat that, I'm going to put a yoga block in between her knees and I'm going to take a ball and put it between her arches so she can feel whether or not she deviates. Okay, you comfortable? Mm -hmm. All right. So to start, I'm just going to have her rock her flat back a couple times. Just nice and slow. Good. Just feeling for the activation. Good. And then I'm going to have her inhale and exhale and just Hover about one to two inches off the mat and feel that squeeze. I want you to soften here just a little, good. And I want you to think about when you come up next time. Good. I want you to think about the knees reaching away, the leg bone reaching away and um, over the feet. Good. And inhale and exhale. And come down. Okay. So this time I'm going to remind her to really look for um, equal weight into both of her feet. Good. Good. Inhaling and exhaling, coming down nice and soft. The other thing we do is we start thinking too much and gripping too much. As much as necessary, as little as possible. Good. I'm going to have her come up all the way now, inhaling and exhaling. Good. Her knees will reach away from her head. Her fingertips will reach for her heels. Her heels will reach to her fingertips. She'll keep soft here. Beautiful. And she'll come down, exhaling. Good. Unfurling the spine. Inhaling and exhaling and coming back up. Good. Reach in opposition. Yes, nice and soft. Inhaling and exhaling. 
each vertebra finding its place on the mat. Okay, how's that feel? Good. Good. All right, no cramps? No cramps. Warm touch? Warm touch. All right, that's what we like here. All right, thank you guys for joining us. I hope you have a good weekend.